So I'm still here, live on this planet, by golly. The, I guess I'm immortal so far. Knock on wood. It has been so frustrating sitting here on my skinny, scrawny, fatless ass. I lost 20 pounds in the uh, hospital. Too bloody weak to get any work done. There's a hell of a lot of work I need to do. Uh, I gotta get the firewood in. I got the the hay to move. We gotta gather up the cows and send the, the steers off to the market and just oh god I fixed a bloody road. It's just a hell of a lot of work and I'm just sitting here drinking iced tea and uh, reading books and it's just I feel so bloody guilty but just just sweeping the floor tires me out. Uh, doctor says it'll be at least another three weeks before I get my strength back, and this is totally unacceptable. So I got a reason I'm making this video. I couldn't put it off any longer, uh, no matter how weak I feel. I got uh, mail delivery, and I got. Uh, uh, bills for medication. Good bloody grief. The four prescriptions just to keep me the fuck alive. I'm not sure it's worth the cost. Good grief. You know, good grief. It's like, Six and a half dollars for one pill, and I need 40 of them? Couldn't I do without it? I don't get it. Bronchial dilator so that I can fucking breathe. Uh, my my lungs have cleared up some. And it feels uh, uh, there's uh, almost no pain when I breathe. Got shit to keep my sinuses from getting infected. And I like these things. They kind of help you cough the shit out of your lungs. And with every pill, you get kind of like a mini vacation. You just take a pill, wait 20 minutes, and close your eyes. And it's like you're in, on your way to Mars. So I wish I could share these with you guys. It's, you know, the, the cost of this shit is just phenomenal. And then I get the hospital uh, notices. You know, they put they put the uh, I don't know if you can see it. Cover sheet! So that after you open the envelope you still got a few seconds to brace yourself. Let's see what the fucking bill is. You know, when they upgrade you from critical to stable, the cost goes down about 300 bucks a day. Yeah, let that be a lesson to you guys. If you're in the hospital and the doctor asks you, how do you feel? Say, stable. I feel Stable. Tell your billing department, I feel stable. You'll save yourself a hell of a lot of money. Which is, as I said, the, the point of this video. <sighs> My brother put a uh, YouTube campaign out there to raise funds to help me pay for all this shit. He did it without my notice, without my consent, and if I had known, I would have uh, told him not to. I would have uh, forbidden it. You know, I burn with shame at, at needing charity. It's just to, to be so... I find it kind of humiliating that I need charity, let alone that that 
it's been collected for me even though I need it it's just contrary to everything that I believe as a as an adult American it, not even asking for charity but needing it it's fucking humiliating that said I see the list that my brother sent of all the kind and, and generous people out there who's who has sent a donation to me they don't even know me I don't know them I may have never talked to them before they don't even know if I'm a decent human being but they sent a few dollars some people sent a lot of dollars you know I'm a I'm a hypercritical cynical misanthrope you know, it, it, I, can't really stand around people very long. I, I don't really trust people. I don't really like people. But the generosity and the kindness and the the the, the warmth, the the actual fondness for me, which I really don't get, of the the hundreds of people, hundreds, who send donations just so I can pay for this shit. Just so that my lungs can be cleared up. Just so that I can breathe. Just so that I can pay for the oxygen device. I find I'm not so cynical. I'm, I'm not so... So much of a... Mistrusting of humanity. That... My misanthropic... Uh, beliefs... Have taken a mighty blow to the head. And it's because of you guys. And... I didn't know that humanity was still like that. I didn't know that there was so many decent, generous people out there. And that that's you people out there. I can't thank you guys. I know I said it before, but words can't describe how much I, I appreciate what, uh, your generosity and... I think it's, I, I keep my head above the uh, water here financially because of you guys. Like I said, I loathe being a charity case, but I appreciate the, the generosity. I can't find words to say how much. You know, looking at the, the figures here, I feel like Willie Nelson after a tax audit. How the fuck do people even deal with this shit? You know, even rich people. You know, for a tenth of, of what this cost, I could have had a one hell of a funeral. And for another tenth, I could have had a hell of a nice wake. You know, I could have served... Well, I couldn't have served. I'd be in the fucking hole. But my executor of my estate could have served some damn fine booze, some little sausage hors d'oeuvres, and still pay for, you know, five or six volleys of gunfire, maybe even a, a howitzer blast or two to send me on my way for a fraction of this. Anyhow, I'm getting stronger. Uh, uh, eventually, I won't need the oxygen, and I can get back to fucking work.